Jan, thank you so much for joining us this morning and your friend in the back there. I see a little llama friend. Oh, yeah. My friendly llama, we're so excited about the ride this weekend. and uh, All the proceeds benefit Samaritan Ministries right here in Winston-Salem. I have always wanted to go mm -hmm. to this um, vineyard. We definitely need to put it on our bucket list, Christina. Definitely. But I want you to first share what folks can expect with this bike race. Well, there are several opportunities for cyclists. Uh, they have three different routes that they can ride, 21 miles, uh, which sounds a long way to me, uh, but then also 37 and 61 miles. So we have some serious cyclists out there. Uh, it's fun to get out, see the beautiful countryside in Yadkin County, and then come back to the vineyard. Uh, we have food trucks, uh, wine, and llama. Oh my goodness, wine and llamas. What more could you want as a part of a bike race? Well, I do have to ask you, Jan, we know that these funds are going to be going to support Samaritan's Purse, but how exactly will that money impact that organization? And so our mission at Samaritan Ministries is providing food, shelter, and hope through Christian love. We have three programs. We have a community soup kitchen that serves lunch every day of the week. We have a homeless shelter for men. And then we have Project Cornerstone, which is a recovery program for homeless men. And you've mentioned two things that are just so important for the community, homeless men and impact and using some of those funds to get those people who are suffering from homelessness, hopefully to a more place of more stability. But these programs, they are just so important to the community in other ways as well. And they're impacting people's lives as individuals. Can you speak on that as well? Yes, I think it's so important to, you know, think about the summer heat and think about that humidity that hits you at seven or eight o'clock in the morning. Think about if you uh, were living outside, what your life would be like. And so at Samaritan, we, our ministry of hospitality, we welcome people in and help them uh, figure out their next steps. Our goal is to get them to permanent housing as quickly as possible. Uh, we had a guest, Robert, who was with us a while back, who uh, used drugs for 30 years. He went through our recovery program and learned about addiction and he now has his own apartment he was so excited to show me the key to his own apartment and got a job and food service and he is just you know on a new path and that's what we're about at Samaritan Ministries. I think those success stories are the things that everybody wants to hear and feel like they're mm -hmm. being a part of right. when they're going out to do a bike ride or something for charity. But Jane, quickly before you go, for those folks who can't make it out this weekend or who may not be bikers who can bike over 20 <laughs> miles, how else can they support the cause? Well, certainly everyone's welcome to come out to the vineyard and enjoy lunch in the afternoon, but you can uh, give to the event online through our website, and you can also uh, get involved in Samaritan. If you're interested in helping hungry and homeless people in our community, we need volunteers every day of the year. Jan, you're a joy to have on our show. Thank you so much for your time. And folks at home, you can register for Tour de Llama at the link there on your screen. You can take a photo of it. I know it's kind of long. It is a little <laughs> bit long, but don't worry. You still have time. Registration doesn't close until 3 tomorrow afternoon. Okay. And of course, walk-up registration is not available for this, so you need to make sure you jump on it and get to that That's link important. online. Yeah.